What's up, guys? Welcome to local band Smokeout. Smokeout. Any genre from, from anywhere in the entire world. I, I want to hear your music. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another local band Smokeout. I'm your host, BG. And uh, yesterday I started watching an interview with Beanie uh, by Karen Davila. And uh, apparently I just completely bombed it as I, I missed the most important part, which is Sheena's full on uh, experience of how she joined Beanie. I had no idea that I, the part I was skipping was going to be the best part. And I saw basically every single comment was just people shitting on me saying like, dude, you messed this one up. You did not see the the best part and i didn't know what i was skipping was that so i thought it's only fair that we go back and see what i missed so this is part two of the uh, beanie interview with karen davili with english subs i believe right about this spot where i'm at right now which is coming off of gwen's story uh right there led us right into sheena's part and then uh, that's when i jumped over to like right over here or something like that and everyone was yelling at me so let's see what I missed. Here we go. Pinaka nag-push sa akin dito. Actually, 50-50 po siya nung nawala po si Mami. Palahati nun, parang... Namatay ang Mami mo. Kailan? Oh, Palagitnaan po lang. Uh, Sheena, I don't know how to... I don't know how to... But ano... Ano ba ito? I just want to, ano... Um, to tell you that I'm... Um, we're very sorry, but um, your mom just passed away it's this morning. Oh my gosh, she Kaya found that she found that information out on while performing or while training with Beanie, and then through a face cam. Nanay ko, she po nagpush sa akin na ito yung auditions kaya talo ko yung audition. Grabe yung support sa akin ni mami kaya no. That's tough. Ina walas yata na. Ano pang sense na andito ako? Basta nung sa club, bago kasi mawala si mami, matagal po siyang nakakoma. Mga ilang buwan po siya nakakoma, mga magawa niya na ganyan. Wow, almost a year. Nasa, nagising na lang po yung lola ko na wala na si mami. Sumu ko na. Ang mas, ang mahirap pa po kasi nung pandemic, tas minor pa po ako. Tas, Hindi ako makaplane, land lang. Ang daming requirements. Hindi ko na naabutan buro niya. Wala na ako naabutan sa bahay. Umuwi Man. na lang ako. Na... That is tough. Wala na. Wala na si mami sa bahay. Wala na yung mga kagamitan niya na sa kwarto. Kasi, kasi nga na ako mas sa bahay. Wala kang closure. You never got to say goodbye. <laughs> What about your dad? Panganak pa lang po ako, wala na po. Wala na po siya. May ibang pamilya. Ang meron na lang po sa akin, actually, ni grandparents po. But recently, namatay din po yung lolo ko. I have my... Man, she has had a rough time lately. <laughs> Not being able to have closure or say goodbye, though, is just... Ikaw ba ang breadwinner? Opo. Kasi po, lolo ko matanda na rin. It's tough. So, maasa na lang sa pension, so... Ako po tuloy ako makatayo. <laughs> I see that the, all they're all getting emotional about it. That's just how close they are. Ako po, isa lang po ako normal na mamamaya ng Pilipinas. <laughs> Pero yun po, yung pangarap ko talaga is mataguyod po talaga yung pamilya ko. Kasi, especially right, I don't know anything about Malloy's story. Ko, kasi galing po siyang ibang bansa. OFW po siya for 13 years. Nung na time po na nag-retire na po siya, so yung pera po, syempre nispend po namin siya pambayad po ng mga utang. Pero nung time po talaga ng pandemic, yun po talaga yung time na parang bagsak po talaga kami. Parang namamroblema po kami ano pong kakainin namin. Ganun. Kasi ako po, noong time po na pandemic noon, 
Wala din po akong maipadala sa kanila kasi ako din po yung breadwinner. Naawa po ako sa pamilya ko na hindi ko po in-expect na dadating. Hey, everybody's story is... Yung tatay ko po, driver. They, they driver sacrifice siya, a lot. Po, to get uh, where they are. Wala po siyang stable na trabaho. So, wala po talaga kaming source of income talaga. Ako lang po talaga inasahan. Mga kapatid ko po nag-aaral na ako pa po yung tumutulong para makapag-aaral. So, yun po yung time talaga na ate mag... Anong, ano, kasi wala lang so, Ngayon po, pangarap ko talaga na hindi na namin ulit maproblemahin yung ganun problem. Ngayon po, napagtapos ko po na pag-aaral yung ate ko. So, yeah, ano po, tinutlag man, nag, parang kami po ay nagtutulungan para po. Ikaw naman, Stacy, ikwento mo ang buhay mo. Taga Nueva Vizcaya po ako. Kami, dalawa lang po talaga ng mami ko po. Yung mami ko po, single mom po siya. So, siya po talaga yung nagpalaki po sa akin. Since birth, kasi siya po pinakalaki. Stacy's the one I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> I never get her name right. And, wala po talaga akong hilig na mag-audition nun. First I don't know anything about her. Ko po yung star hunt po. Star ako. hunt? Mahirap din po sa part siguro ni Mami kasi hindi naman po, never po naging madali ang maging single mom. Ngayon po, lagi po nag-thank you sa akin si Mami kasi, yes, I'm a good daughter! Mm -hmm. And mamuti <laughs> akong anak kasi uh -oh. Uh -oh. hindi naman po ako pasawa, hindi po ako palalabas noon. And kaming dalawa ni Mami, super close. Close, close. Kami yung relationship namin. Best friends ko. Uh -oh. That's cool. Kasi pangarap po ni Mami na maging Um, mag-aral po sa isang culinary school and nung nakakaipon na po kaming bini, pinatapos ko rin po siya sa... Oh, oh, oh that's awesome! Good for her! So, in effect, binayaran mo ang naiyak ako ng nanay mo! Oh, nanay mo. Oh, oh. That's a big deal na ikaw naman ang nagpa-aral sa nanay mo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my God, ang babait pala ng mga batang ito. Guys, tama lang na iniidolo niyo sila. Napakababa. Okay, collect. I like how Karen's like individually going like down the line, which helps me. Because you guys know I've struggled with who, who everybody's name is, and I know like four or five of them. But I like the fact she's going like in order right here. So we got Sheena, Malloy, Stacy, and now it's Colette's turn. Pagbabanda, hindi naman po parang lagi merong, merong banda, merong kumukuha po sa kanila. Hindi I never heard the term Tay-Tay. <laughs> Nag-aaral pa My po kami lahat nun. So yung I'm assuming it means dad. Na parang hindi na, hindi makakapag-exam yung mga ate ko kasi nga walang pambayad. Sa tuition. Sa tuition, parang yung nanay ko dati, nabaon din po kami sa utang. Dating nanay ko talagang nagtatago na pag may... Naka, alam niyo po yung mga nakamotor na mag... Ay, may tinda, ah, may tindahan po kami. May tindahan po kami. So, pag nakamotor na, parang magtatago na lang yung nanay ko. Tapos, ibibilin niya sa bunso namin, kapatid, na sabihin mo, wala yung, wala yung ano, wala, wala ako dito. Parang may joke pa ngayon na nanay ko na parang nakita kasi yung half ng ano, ganito niya, na nagtatago siya. <laughs> Tapos sabi ng, sabi daw nung nagsisingin na. Nung five, na, six. Uh, sabi daw nung nagsisingin na. Ah, sabihin mo sa nanay mo, ha, na isama yung, <laughs> yung, ganito, yung buhok niya pag umalis siya. Parang ganun, parang may joke. Kasi nga nahuli siya na nagtatago. Siguro mga, um, the mga grade six na po. That little laugh throws me off every time. High school na po. Minsan wala, wala po talaga kaming makain. Alam niyo po yung parang, yung ano ng coconut lang. Tapos yung... Coconut. Yung ganun, niyog lang. Nung, oh. Yun lang kinakain namin. Tapos yung... Yung ano ng niyog? Ano anong bang tawag nun? Yung katas? Yung katas, katas, yung katas o laman uh, ng niyog. Tapos nil, gata, uh, ng niyog. nilalagay namin ng rice lang na minsan inuutang pa namin sa kapitbahay namin para lang kumain kami. Ayoko lang na mangyari po ulit yun. Magkano ang una mong ipinadala oh, sa probinsya? 200,000. <laughs> hindi po, <laughs> hindi po. <laughs> Grabe naman. Whatever um, amount. 200,000 pesos? It's the whole I'm gonna look how much, how much that is. Whether 5,000, 10,000. Malaking bagay yun. Siguro po na. It's 11,350 American dollars. That's that's a substantial amount of money to send ten, to send some money. I would say. Especially in the beginning when there's not a whole lot of money coming in. Siyempre po masaya. Parang yun na po yung... Dati, binibigyan ko po kasi sila ng monthly po eh. Tapos ngayon po parang pinapaayos po namin yung bahay namin. Ako na po nagtutuloy na pinapaaral ko po yung dalawa ko pong kapatid kasi nagtatrabaho na po yung dalawa. Alam mo, naiiyak ako sa inyo kasi grabe ang responsibility. They all pay it back to their families, which is so sweet. Okay, Aya, 
Taga Cebu po ako originally po. I was born and raised in Cebu. Tapos nung nasa Cebu po ako. Cebu pa, Island has more than 150 ako, surrounding time, islands. I realized ko po, para mas gusto ko po na mag-earn for myself. Para po hindi po ako, hindi na po need i financially support ako ng magulang po. Actually, nung nasa Cebu po ako, nakapag-enroll na ako for college po. Tapos, uh, bigla po akong tinawag to be here. So, naging debate po siya kasi gusto ng parents ko makapagtapos po, tapos naka-enroll na. Pero, buti naman po ngayon, I'm both studying and working at the same time po. Parang blessing in disguise din po siya na nandito po did ako. She say, kasi, did she say what she was studying? Po, um, yung family ko po kasi, all of them, three of them, my brother and my parents, they're in the hotel industry. Tapos nung pandemic po, they all lost their job. So, dami ding utang that time. Ngayon kaya, kahit minsan mahirap po siya na pagsabayin yung school and work. Pero kasi, I get to look back on those days na yung parang naghihirap po. And parang ito na lang din po yung reward ko. And especially na sobrang laking trust din po yung binigay nila sa akin dito po. Yun po, nakap ang sarap sa feeling din na natitreat ko na po sila. Na hanggang pangarap ko lang po yung dati po. When ikaw naman... Taga yes, saan ka? Yung mga magulang mo na saan? I'm from Bicol po, Alayo. <laughs> yung mom ko po, single mom na lang siya. Kasi nawala rin yung dad ko, four years old pa lang po ako. So, tas lima po kami magkakapatid. Nawala, <laughs> namatay? Namatay po ako, nung four years old pa lang po ako. Tas lima po kami magkakapatid. Siguro yung pinaka-struggle namin is, yun nga po, kasi single mom si mama, tas hindi na siya po nakapagtrabaho. Kasi parang before, nung buhay pa si papa, hindi siya pinag-work. E pag ganun po pala, parang mahihirapan na siya mag-apply kasi nga sa work experience, nag siya. So hindi na po siya nakahanap talaga ng regular work ever since. Nakaasa po kami sa pension ng papa ko. Ang kaso lima po kami, nabaon din po talaga kami sa utang. Ako while studying before rumaraket-raket po ako sa mga events, ganyan, kung ano na pinasa ko din. <laughs> Minsan sa school, nagbebenta ng mga kung ano-ano po, pagkain, ganyan. Ano pinibenta po sa school? Ay, ang dami po talaga mga snacks, tas mga graham balls, mga ganyan, kung ano-ano. Graham balls? <laughs> oh, po talaga. What is that? Oh, po, kasi ginagawa ko, as, as much as possible, magsisave talaga ako para kunyari may projects. Hindi na ako hihingi sa mama ko po, ganun. Nung tumatagal po, parang yung May kapatid po ako na kailangan na rin talaga mag-stop kasi talagang walang-wala na rin po talaga kami. Hirap na hirap na po talaga si mama. Tapos nakakasad na yung bahay mo. Parang unti-unti mong makikitang nabubulok na. Kasi parang sira na yung bubong, ganyan. Tapos hirap na rin kami sa, yun sa food din, pang everyday. As in yung everyday po namin na nakinakain, inuutang na lang din sa mga stores, ganyan. Wow. Ano tanong po, taga Bicol kayo? Mapapanood ba ng pamilya mo ang concert? Ay, opo, pupunta ah, po ang family ko. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Family's nila. coming out. Nalipad ko po sila. Yeah. Ako rin po. Diba? <laughs> Lahat kayo. Opo. Nagsabi ni Maloy. Yeah. <laughs> Uy. Kay Mika naman. Para kang foreigner, Mika. <laughs> Kasi po galing ako sa States, tapos... Ang oh, social. Char. <laughs> Joke lang. Okay, okay, okay. I think I got it. Sheena, Malloy, Stacy, Colette, Aya, Gwen, Mika, Joanna. Did I just get it? Give me a hell yeah! Did I just get it right? <laughs> is that <a> first? <laughs> I think it's the first. Joke. From people. Pero I was born in Cebu. Tapos yun from then on, palipat lipat kami ng lugar. So pag tatanong po ako kung saan po ako galing, hindi ko rin po alam. <laughs> yung dad and mom ko, sabi nila that they don't want us to experience what they did. Kaya talaga, kumayo din talaga sila. And I'm very blessed. Oh, ang una mong sweldo, anong ginawa mo? Um, nagsasend po ako kay Papa ng mga 20k, 30k. Ang buhay mo, I was unaware that in the Philippines their their currency was pesos. I must be living on a rock because I had no idea that pesos was the form of money that they used over there. Mm. <laughs> when I think pesos, I just naturally always thought Mexico because I'm ignorant and dumb. Katulad po ako ni Stacy, only child po ako. Yung daddy ko po OFW before, before pandemic I feel like, po. I feel like Mika's story was was a little short. It was kind of just, it was a quick one compared to everybody else's. Si mami po housewife. Ang kasama ko lang talaga palagi sa bahay, lolo't lola. Kasi lima lang po kami. So wala si daddy, wala si mami. Lolo't lola lang talaga. Yung feeling ko pinaka down talaga ako sa buhay ko na to the point na sinasaktan ko yung sarili ko. Yung matay po she si lolo. She was hurting lolo, herself? Oh no. Wala akong magawa kasi hindi ako makauwi po kasi nga nasa 
Nandito po ako sa Bini House, pandemic noon, bawal kami lumabas. Pag naisip ko lang yung tinatawag niya kasi ako palagi, okay lang ko kayo mapapanood ng live kasi never niya po kami napanood ng live. Ayun, feeling ko ginayad niya din talaga ako, ginayad niya kami kasi nung time na nawala siya, parang doon naman lumuwag. Nasayang lang, hindi niya po naabutan. Pero, ayun, masaya naman po ako, close po ako sa family ko, kahit mga tito-tita ko, mga pinsan ko. Hindi ko na feel na only child ako kasi... Bukod sa mga pinsan ko, meron pa akong pitong ano. So, minsan pag nafe-feel ko lang na nahihirapan ako, Everybody keeps crying. titignan nyo lang silang pito. Parang mas For each other's yung stories, yung too. It's... Ang salamin ay... Yes, ang salamin po. Ang salamin-salamin po siya sa mga, sa mga crush nyo na hopefully mapansin na. And yung mga minamanifest nyo, guys. So, salamin-salamin sa dingding. Kaya nang kaya niya ako mapapansin. Ganon. All right, I'm going to mute just this part because, again, yesterday <clears throat> when we were doing part one, uh, Pentropico came on and it caused a, a copyright and it was a hassle. I had to do some weird mute thing I've never done before through YouTube. So I'm assuming they're going to sing right here a bit of Salamine, Salamine. So I'm just going to mute that. That's it. That's all I'm doing. We're continuing on right after this. Yes. So I gotta mute this. Salamin, salamin, na 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 na. Salamin, salamin, na 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 na. I know they do it way better than me, but man, while while we have a second, every single comment for part one was like, "Bro, the f are you doing? Skipping the best part?" And now I understand. I skipped the part where it was all of their stories individually. Now there's no way I could have known that that was coming when I skipped it. So I apologize, and this is my attempt to make it right, guys by doing a part two and uh, being able to <clears throat> get the full stories. Pero ang walong babae. Una, nag-away-away ba kayo noon? Of course. Of course. So, sino ang peacemaker? Ay, may mga neutral. Iba-iba. Iba-iba. Oh, sino? Siguro pinaka-balance. Sino? Sino ang ate ng grupo? Ay, yung oldest po namin si Ate Aya. The Ate, yes. So, siya ang pinapakinggan. Aya is the oldest? Ang pinigyan ko sa akin. Lahat. Nung ipon po ng ways. Ah, ito. O, lahat kayo tumira sa iisang bahay. Sino ang pinakamakalat? Ito totoo. Kami lahat. Okay, so some of this I did see yesterday. This part right here, but I'll just let it roll. Nililinis po namin kanya-kanya. O, sino ang pinakamalinis? Stacy. Ah, si Stacy. Stacy, okay. One point. <laughs> Who's who? Sino pinaka vain? Si Malika. <laughs> okay. Ano yun? Maloy. <laughs> Sino ang pinaka simple? Ito ate Aya. 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 Ay, ate Gwen. Ate Gwen. Ate Gwen. Si Bebe. Si Bebe. Si Bebe. Sino pinaka maingay? Si Stavo. Si Ate Jo. Pero yung, pero yung pinaka, yung pinaka, hindi ako sobrang ingay. Hindi ko si Ate Jo. Si Joanna. Si Malloy just, Malloy did not like that. I remember saying that yesterday. She did not like the fact that they called her loud. Sino mabudi, yung totoo. Sino mainitin ang ulo? Ate ko lang. Ako din, mudi mainitin. Eto minsan ako si Mika. Minsan si Mika. Passive aggressive lang. Sino passive aggressive? Sino ang pinaka-pasensyosa? Anong pasensyosa? Mahaba pasensyosa. Ay, chef, mga ba-pasensyosa. Si Ate Jo! Inaangkin daw ni Maloy. Wala, wala, chef. Baba mo, baba. I feel like... Ate Jo! Si Jo may ugali rin yun, Nisa. Oh! Piling ko kasi leader si Joanna. Oo. Mas mahaba pa. Pero minsan na pupuno rin. May ugali rin yun. May ate vibe ka. May ate vibe. Second to the moon. 28 years old. Second to the moon. It's like a Donkey Kong sound or something. Ito pa. 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 Nagugulat ako siya. Maraming nagugulat din po. Raise your hand. Sino okay, now, now this part I know for a fact we definitely watched yesterday, the boyfriend part. Yeah, the, about the contract, I definitely saw that. Hold on. Let's go like right there. Where do you get inspiration? Opo, kasi ano po eh, alipin kami ng mahal na bayarin. Alipin. She said slaves? Matipid. Oh, matipid. Hindi. 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 Wala po. 
Walo ka pag ano. Walo ka pag ano. Walo ka pag ano. Walo ka pag ano. Lagi ka pag ano. One time, big time. They're getting loud. Wala po. Wala po. Wala po. Hindi. 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 Sino ang pinakamagastos? Si... Ito, Gina. Si Debbie. Lagi pong may parcel. Hindi ka. Ito, ito din. Sa ano lang ako? Furniture. Kasi nag-invest na ako sa furniture. Hindi rin, hindi rin. Halo. Hindi rin mix. Okay. Sino ang pinakatahimik sa bahay? Si Gwen. Si Gwen po. Nasa ano lang po siya, Ben? Alam sana po siya sa bahay. Sa double deck. Sa double deck. Sino ang pinakamasipag sa rehearsal? Oh, good question. Lahat. Most hardworking in rehearsal. Sino ang pinakamalakas kumain? Lahat. Chiki. Si Stacy ano ito ako tingin mo? Kung ano ang gawa kayo ng pelikula or teleserya, sino ang who's the guy? Si Sir Jericho Rosario. Okay. Understandable. I don't know who that is. Since 2018, funny po talaga ako. Donnie Pangilinas. Yan! Also, don't know who that is. Sir Bong Navarro po. Over three. Bong Navarro? Ultimate Kiss. Opo. Okay, interesting to. Bong is charming, pero hindi mo iisipin ka agad Bong kasi comedian. Bakit si Bong? Eh, naisip ko po agad. What's that about Bong? Parang mga movies kasi ma-movie po ako mula bata sa TV. Like, ang funny niya. Tapos sumasayaw din siya. So, nasa kanya na lahat. Next, Omika. Um, kung girl po... Ano ginagawa mo sa ulo niya? 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 Local dapat ha? Kung local, ibe-base off ko to sa mga artist na nakita ko in person. So, si Mr. Piolo Pascual. Yay! The nation's crush. Jericho, oh, ayan. New veneration po. Ay, oh, mabait yun. Have you ever experienced a heartbreak? Wala. Wala. Sabi Gwendo. Sabi Gwendo. Wala. Wala pa. I know I asked you guys yesterday, but I still don't understand. I don't understand what, like, she just said that. Eight Gwen, and they've been using the word eight a bunch in like a weird usage that I'm not used to, uh, as far as like how we would say, like when you say the word eight in English, it just means like eating something physically, but they they word it in a, in a different context here. I'm missing what that means. Wala pa. Na-comment po. Na-comment po. Uy, ano ko po? Okay. So, as we end our interview, siguro, no? Ano ang you can give me a life verse, biblically? I did see this part too, but we're almost done. We'll let it, we'll let it run. Nahawak-hawak nyo, dala-dala nyo, panghabang buhay. Favorite verse ko po, the pain that you've been feeling right now cannot compare to the joy that is coming. Romans 18. I love that. I love that. Every time po na nalulungkot ako, parang pinangahawakan ko lang yung Bible verse na yun na, okay, sige, hayaan ko nang maranasan ko lahat ng lungkot kasi alam ko na may, na mas grabe pa yung joy na ibibigay sa akin ni Lord God. And also, risking is better than regretting. So lahat ng tinake ko na risk, nasaktan man ako, ang importante na tuto ako sa lahat. Nag-isip si Maloy na mga words. Hindi po, ano ko po yun talaga. Nasa puso ko po yun. Trust the process. Kasi duman po ako sa point ng ano na, actually nag-quit po ako. Yeah, I remember hearing this yesterday. So, I was unaware that she had quit. Opo, yun yung mga time na gulong-gulo yung isip ko. Talaga, as in, I feel so lost. Ganon. Dala-dala ko po ito since nung nag-audition pa. Always do your best and God will do this. Siguro sa akin po, I've always said this since the start, na dreams will only stay dreams unless you act upon them. Ako po, always try your best to live in peace. If may option naman na pwede naman mapayapa na lang ako, then piliin ko na lang yun. Talagang tanggalin ko muna yung mga negative thoughts. I always look at the positive side. Ako po, sinanto sa akin ni Ate Ike, si visual director po namin. Um, malalaman mo na may paparating na blessing sa'yo kapag may tinatanggal na si Lord sa'yo kasi He's making space. Oh. <clears throat> Ako po, everything happens for a reason po. And a lesson. Yun lagi kung, kung may mangyayari mang um, hindi maganda 
or am I gonna I've also noticed that they say in. they say the word po a couple times and I'd only heard that used in Japanese language before so it's interesting planning but that's also uh, a, a common <coughs> Filipino ever since let go and let phrase go. or Ito word dad ko in all the times na may challenge just po ito po yung sinasabi niya and ako din po and affected po siya talaga so this is coco's it's a restaurant right in front of the pool in sofitel so let's check it out ang ganda ng vibe guys very resort vibe check that out favorite ko and we are gonna eat na mukbang time na tayo wow! mukbang that looks pretty bomb Look at that. A little kebab spread. Some pasta. That food looks bomb. Karen had a fantastic interview. You guys are sold out. Talk about Woo! We just want to say thank you so much po sa Blooms namin na nagpa-sold out ng three-day concert namin. Hindi namin talaga in-expect po kasi within two hours po siyang na-sold out nung first day. And then we release namin the second and third day at the same time. Less than two hours rin po siya nag-sold out. And we're very grateful and sana sa next concerts namin. Ganun rin po yung mangyari. Yes, Blooms, magkita-kita po tayo sa New Frontier Theater. Sinabi ni Mix, June 28 to 30 wow. po. Three days tayo magsasama-sama. Nagpa-prep na kami ngayon, kaya medyo masakit yung katawa namin. Yes. <laughs> We promise na magiging worth it talaga yung experience nating lahat. And syempre sa lahat ng mga hindi nakasecure ng tickets, don't worry kasi madaming best pa tayo magsasama. Yes! Yay! It's the nanay in the house! <laughs> Oh, then we go with another copper right there. All right, so we'll leave it at that. <laughs> we completed it. Hell yeah. I'm sorry for everybody for letting everybody down yesterday. I, I saw all the comments. They were all awful, yelling at me about skipping the, the most important part. Now, you have to understand, there was no, I had no idea the part I was skipping was the most important part. So I wanted to make it right today by going back and uh, and seeing what we missed, and it was it was an emotional part. Every almost every single member <clears throat> has gone through serious trials and tribulations to get to this point, and they've they've earned it. They fought for this. They some of them lost some of their family members. All of them are so close that as each of, each of them were telling their individual stories, they all got really really emotional about it, um, <clears throat> which got me emotional in a certain part, especially when Sheena was talking about. Uh, when she first started uh, explaining about the loss that she's experienced during the pandemic. So that was tough. Uh, that part was tough. But they have, uh, you know, they've bounced back. It was cool seeing that Colette sends so much money out to her family to take care of them. I feel like I know I know the ladies a lot better now. Um, so, uh, again, we just try to make it right. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh, the the full part two of, of uh, the interview with, with Karen Davila and, and Beanie and you've checked out Cherry on Top and you support them and uh, yeah hopefully you guys ended up enjoying this and have considered clicking the like and subscribe button. I'm just going to leave it at that we're not going to plug any sponsors today just uh, just call it the end of part two Beanie's interview with Karen Davila uh, enjoy the rest of your day and have a great weekend and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.